Nigerians. Where did we get this mentality from? What am I talking about? Every single opportunity we had, we just want to enrich ourselves. Not minding. If our decision to enrich ourselves we even kill whatsoever that we see as a means of enriching ourselves. With this kind of mentality, I want you to know that no one will want to come to invest any meaningful thing in our nation again. Few days ago on the internet, I saw a young man complaining about Nigeria and calling Nigeria a cursed country. You know what he said? He said he came to our country to invest. He invested 1.5 million to start up an entry. And he said within four months, his staffs made sure they squandered everything. As if that was enough, he said, he got some flats in Abuja, about 20 flats that he built, put tenants there. And he discovered that about 18 tenants were owing him and were also ready to cut to court in order not to pay. And in his conclusion, you know what this man said? He said, Nigeria will not be well. That things can never work for Nigeria again. But it got me thinking. Where did we get this mentality from? The suck things dry in vanity. Where did we get it from? Do you know that what this man said made me to begin to think and to research? I started to now remember great companies that once existed in Nigeria. Now, I googled a lot of them and I discovered that most of them had folded up. It has now become a philosophy in Nigeria that whatever business you cannot take time to watch over should not be established. Why? It is generally believed that Nigerians will eat such companies or Nigerians. We want our country to rise again. We want things to begin to change and work well in our country. For it to work well, we must Choke this mentality. This mentality is not godly. And any nation in which the citizens possess the suck things dry, enrich yourself all of a sudden from other people's wealth, missing such country will never go forward. But I believe that Nigeria can rise again. And for Nigeria to rise again, we all must make up our minds. Number one, to be satisfied with the legitimate income that we have. Or should I say, the legitimate means of making money that we have. Now, until we come to this point, hear me, the Nigeria may not rise. One of the reasons why a lot of people are looking for means to enrich themselves at all costs is because in Nigeria we have this wrong mindset. I said it a few days ago that we have a mindset of rating ourselves by the material things we have. Can I tell you this truth? If Jesus our Lord said it that a man's life does not cons cons consist in the abundance of things he has. Nigeria will rise again. But for Nigeria to rise again, let it begin from you and me. Change the socket dry mentality. Be satisfied with your legitimate means of income. And beloved, within the space of little time, we begin to see Nigeria rise again in summary kill the socket dry 
mentality and you will see Nigeria rise again.